I used to lucid dream. It's kind of like similar. In no sense. way. I used Dude, to know I've how only, to do it. I've only like done that once. Tell me about it. Um, very scary. Actually, it's like, scary for you. Like at first, it becomes very interesting because you're in control. Yeah, but you're in total control. You know, and you you seen like I'm pretty sure people have seen videos of it, but it's very true how you can't make them know that you're dreaming. Oh, okay. Well, maybe like the, the dream <laughs> entities you're can't somewhere know else. you're dreaming. Oh, okay, okay. But that's shit. how it is in lucid dreaming. Really? Because like, sometimes that sounds very. You're scary, in control man. of the dream, <laughs> but you're not in that. control of who's in the dream. I've never heard that. So, like, there was one dream I was having. This is like the only experience that like I really had was bad because a lot of my lucid okay. dreams, like, I knew what I was doing because I have yeah. a really good experience that I'll talk about, but I'll talk about the bad one first. Um, I was on the road. But I wasn't driving. I was with a girl that I used to talk to like a couple years back. And she was driving. And I'm very confused because I'm aware that I'm dreaming. Like dreaming. That I'm aware that of my person. I'm, I have my own self-awareness. And I'm confused because I haven't talked to this girl. Like her and I are not close at all. We have no connection with each other. Like I rarely even see her as is. So I'm very confused. And so I ask her. I'm like, oh, what are, what are we doing? And she hits me with, we're driving, you silly. And I'm like, what are you talking about? She's like, well, it's our anniversary, like our four-year anniversary. And I'm tripping. I'm like, ain't no way. You're like, this is a dream. I, was, and I literally said that. I was like, this is a dream. And she turned around. She's like, you're not supposed to know that. Shut the fuck up. You're not supposed to know that. You're not supposed to know that. You're not supposed to know that. She just kept repeating scary. it over and over. That's scary. And then you can kind of start seeing the distortion. So as soon as that happened, I just opened the door, jumped out. And once I hit, like made contact with the ground, I woke up. Dude, nah, bro. You're somewhere else. You're not. You're not in your own dream, man. You're. You're somewhere else. That's. A, it's happened to a lot of people I've seen on YouTube because I've even searched it up myself. Like, what does that mean? Like in, in the ether or something. <laughs> and they say that that happens occasionally. You're just not supposed to recognize that you're. You're not supposed to tell them that you know you're dreaming. You're supposed Dude, to kind of just like play along with it. That just sounds like what I've heard is like you're in f when you're dreaming, you're in full control of your dream, partially. Dude, that's like, cause that like you, scary. when that you dream, happened? you don't choose what dreams you're having. You just can, like when you lucid dream, you yeah. can't choose like what the setting is and what the plot is. You only just control what you're doing there. Mm, I and heard that you so, can like change the whole plot if you really want it. Well, I guess I didn't have that much like power oh, in a sense, but like, yeah. Cause I remember there was another dream I had cause it's, this was like happening when I was going through a lot of stuff. I kind of like delved into like learning how to lucid dream yeah and it happened by accident at first and that's what made me curious as to okay so one of the good things is that um i dreamt that i was traveling like i was just walking like it's just me like i just knew myself i was walking okay and i'm aware and this guy like randomly pulls up in an old pickup truck this looks like it's like maybe 1970s 1980s ish maybe 1990s Somewhere around there. Yeah. The guy goes, um, like, are you lost? Do you need a ride? And it was weird that, like, he he was the only person that specifically pointed me out. Mm. And so I was like, sure, I'll take a ride. I took a ride from him, and then I asked him, where are we? He said, we're in Elsa, Texas, and that's where my dad's from. And I was like, oh, really? Drive through here. Drive through there. I was, like, pointing him. I was like, drop me off here. He was like, are you sure? And I'm like, yeah, I want to be here. And then I walked into the house. Well, I knocked on the door. My dad answered, but my dad's younger version answered. Oh, that's weird. And I actually I sat down and talked to my dad and everything. And, and you were then, lucid. Like I visited I visited him and everything. And so then when I woke up, I told him about it. I told him that I saw him and that I met him. And he was like, How'd you know it was me? And I was like, I've seen your old pictures and I saw what you dressed like and I knew where you lived. And I went there and I saw you. And it was you. And it was for sure you. We had like a full on conversation. Shit. Did you tell and, them about the dialogue that you had with them? Um, partially. I just told them that I did tell them like, hey, like, just know that everything will be okay. Mm. And I love you. And when I told him that, he was like super shocked. Like, it's random it? guys telling me he loves yeah. me. And like, like being gay and such is like not a big yeah. thing back there. So yeah, back he then probably it was saw, they like thought that, that yeah. this guy is gay and he's hitting on me. Yeah. But it wasn't that case, obviously. It was just kind of like, he was kind of confused. And I just walked out and I kept walking and woke up. Damn. And then I told my dad that day, like right away. And you were completely lucid throughout this experience. I remember it all. And you I remember moving. I remember everything. What, what did you ask him? I was just talking about like what he was doing with his life right then and there and who he hung out with. Just basic questions. Damn. I didn't try to go into too much detail, like being like, oh, do you know who my mom is yet? Or do you know yeah. what you want to do in the future and stuff like that? Or yeah. Where do you see yourself in 10 years? Nothing like that. It was just kind of like stuff that are Very like in the now to him. 
Very broad still. Yeah. Okay. Fuck, man. But I look completely different because I had piercings and yeah. I had long hair. You I were not from the era. Clothing. I still had the same clothing I slept in because it was like one of those nights where like I just hit the bed and I knocked out. So I was wearing Damn, dude. So like I was literally still wearing the same stuff. Any tips on lizard dreaming? I can't tell you honestly yeah. anymore because it's been so long since I've done it. But I would watch videos on how to do it. Mm. And there's just like a bunch of different videos that explain like how to do it. I don't recommend it because there are, there can be situations like how I said in the last one. Yeah. But it is still an experience, definitely. Dude. Like also astral projecting. I've never done that. But I've, I've never always done learned that. how to. I've always wanted to know how to do it. I've never done that. I've, I think I've gotten close to it, but like I always get really scared and come back. Yeah, because there's like <laughs> certain, I've heard stories like astral projecting, like you can astral project, but then sometimes it's hard to get back into your body. I've heard that it, 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 it like nothing can prevent you, but I've heard like some stories of like, hey, you should really pay attention, like what doors you open. Like don't go into just any door. It's like, oh, okay. But yeah, that's what I've heard. But I've only had one lucid dream and it was actually kind of weird because like, okay, I was back in like, I was back in like some town hall, like some tom houses that I used to live in. It mm -hmm. was like, it was like three or four like houses, they all shit like walls. And it was like, that was one section. And like, like that was like the whole neighborhood was built like that. Yeah. And uh, nobody was in the neighborhood. But I knew that, uh, I mean, I was there and I knew that I was dreaming. So I was actually in my house and I was just opening doors. And uh, all I could see was pictures of clowns. Like, I mean, paintings of clowns. And I, they were not creepy, but it was kind of like, that's weird. It's eerie. Yeah, Very it's eerie. eerie. And then I just went outside and I remember like, I was like, okay, well, I know that I'm dreaming. I was like, I want to fly. And uh, I, I couldn't fly. I was like, all right, I guess I don't have like that much power. So I remember like jumping over like this fence or this wooden door, like of a, like a backyard. And that's it. That's it. But I remember being full control and that's the only lucid dream that I've had. It was kind yeah. of eerie. There was nobody in the dream. I did not encounter anybody, but, and I couldn't fly, but that's it. Like after that, like I couldn't do it again. I haven't lucid dream in so long. Like yeah. it makes me question like, how did I do it? How yeah. was I able to do it? Because it was also yeah like when I would lucid dream a lot, it was during a time that I was going through like, like I was really down okay. and I was learning how to heal. I see. And I would spend a lot of time to myself, by myself. And that's when I kind of got into the gist of it. But now I don't. Like, I'm still very, like, remembering of yeah. my dreams. Like, my old dreams and the dreams I have, like, last night and the night before. Yeah. Like, I'll remember parts of the plot. Obviously, when you dream at night, it's not, like, one simple dream. There's a Correct. bunch of dreams. Think of it yeah. like a multiverse type of yeah. thing. It's just, like, one dream that you pick up specifically that your mind will remember. Yeah. And sometimes I'll remember, like, two or three dreams. Like, it'll be that's weird. Cool. That, like, I remember three different stories. That's cool. But it's just like none of them have like any correlation to one another. Yeah, like if but I if I remember like one or two dreams like in like the morning, I'm like that's a lot of dreams that I I can remember. You know, it's like I don't yeah. really I don't remember dreams very often. I do. Yeah, and honestly, like I think when I remember dreams the most is when I am sleeping early. Mm, and like you get when that I go to night, sleep early and I actually rest. get the rest. I remember the dreams a lot better. That's there's been cool. nights where I like I get drunk and I knock yeah. out and then no. I wake up and I actually remember the dream. Oh yeah. Yeah. Even when you've Like, drunk. I won't even remember falling asleep. I remember being drunk, and then I'll just remember me being in the dream. Oh, wow. Like, I won't remember that.